Oh, 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 oh fuck. Flying in my chin. <laughs> yeah. It's on. It feels nice and feels nice and on. <laughs> oh. Found this plug and I have absolutely no idea where it goes. Now, in today's video, we're going to install the cylinder head, the Z20 light gasket, ARP head studs, and all the other ancillaries onto my Corsa B C20 light. Now, the first thing we need to do is drill out the rivets in the Z20 light gasket. I do believe there's only about three um, you need to drill out, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, you need to use a five millimeter drill piece to drill out the rivets. Very straightforward, so we'll do that first, obviously. Also, something else worth mentioning for anyone who's doing this themselves i will link the torque settings for the arp head studs in the description below because myself i found it quite difficult to try and find the proper specs online and it took me a while but i eventually got there and found the correct information so if you do this yourself it'll help you out so as i said it'll be in the description below so for now let's go and drill out the rivets on the z20 let head gasket Right, so here is obviously the Z20 light gasket and the standard one. Now, so the rivets we're going to drill out is one, two, uh, three, or four. I can't remember, we can leave one out, but I can't remember which one it is. So figure it out. But anyway, let's crack on. And as you can see, that's one rivet drilled out. Now that's the rivets drilled out, and I'm not gonna lie, it's quite easy to drill them out. Now the reason you do this is because when you put the cylinder head on, um, these don't allow it, the head to sit flush, so that's the reason behind it. And Yes, you remove all four. Now we need to install the ARP head studs. Right, now I thought I'd just quickly show you the block before we actually install the new ARP head studs. And now, the car did come with ARP head studs, but they are old ones and the nuts were lost. So like I said, I've got a brand new ARP head stud kit in the shed, so we'll be installing them. Now let me know in the comment section, I've heard and been told that these studs are reusable. Whereas normal head bolts, you can only use them once because they're stretch bolts. Are ARP head studs reusable? Let me know in the comment section. Right, also here we have the refurbished cylinder head. Now, it's as you had a light skim, it's got brand new valve stem oil seals in it. We have all brand new seals here, time belt kit, etc. But we cannot put any of this on until I get hydraulic lifters for this head because the ones that I came with the head, they weren't really great, so yeah, they're no use really, so that'll delay getting the rest of the stuff on. But, we can still put the cylinder head on and get it obviously torqued down and all that kind of stuff for now. And here is the brand new ARP bolt studs kit. Brand new, ready to go on. Right, now that I've shown you everything, let's install the ARP head studs and then install the cylinder head. Right, now that's the um, old ARP head studs removed, now we just need to basically blow out all the kind of uh, bolt holes just so we don't get any hydro locks or any crap in there. We need all the debris removed from there. So. That's better. Look. That one's not bad. You go flying, innit? Got all that shit in there, look. Ah, oh, 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 fuck. Flying in my chin. <laughs> right, so that's all the kind of stud holes cleaned out. Um, I've actually got my uh, kind of mechanic down with me there now. Uh, just give me a little bit of a hand, and just for our, just for another set of eyes and hands, really, just so I know everything's done correctly. Um, his name's Luke. He's a mobile mechanic. He does things really well, and um, yeah, it was great. So anyway, um, let's rock on. Nice and flat, no gaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah this one, like, they just go in. Yeah. 
Here we are. Yeah, she's going. Here we are. Yeah, she's on. Feels nice and feels nice and on. <laughs> oh. oh, she's on anyway. So that's where the bulk of the friction is going to be, you know. Right guys, so believe it or not, it's actually been many, many few days since we actually put the head onto the top of the engine. Now, the reason it's taken this long is because the nuts for the ARP head studs, I didn't actually have the correct socket for it. It's taken me a wee while to get the correct socket. It was some weird American Imperial size. So today we're going to torque down the cylinder head. And as I said, I will note all the torque specs in the description below so you don't need to go find them yourselves and because I had a nightmare trying to find the correct spec to torque it down and um, I don't I just couldn't really find any relevant information online so as I said it'll be down there so anyway let's go and torque down the cylinder head <laughs> Right, so yeah, that is the cylinder head torqued down. Um, all done in the correct sequence, all the correct torque specs, done properly with the Z20 LET steel head gasket. The only thing that's kind of holding me back at the moment is I need to get hydraulic lifters, as I previously mentioned. So that's the only thing holding us back from getting the timing belt on and the camshaft, so that can wait. But the next thing we can do is install the intake manifold and obviously all the ancillaries and get all this sorted out and attached to the intake manifold. So, with that being said, let's crack on. Now, it's all been assembled with um, obviously all new gaskets in the top part, throttle body. So, there were no air leaks or anything like that at all. We've got the Z20 LET fuel injectors on it, uh, a brand new adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Uh, everything's good to go, really. Right guys, we have an update. Um, yeah, again, we are getting there. It's just I plumbed in all the basic kind of uh, plugs, like for the throttle body and all that kind of nonsense. The fuel injector, uh, wiring harness is plumbed in. Um, I'm sure I figured out where other stuff goes, such as the idle control valve plug. Um, this kind of goes underneath the intake manifold, and then I think, obviously, this pipe here goes into there, and then the other bit goes underneath the manifold. Room is tight, guys. I mean, there's hardly any room under there, like. But the good thing about this old school car is, this is basic, I mean, there's no unnecessary wiring, everything is just what you need, like, you know, it's not a modern crap, this is why I hate modern cars, and this is why I love old school cars, everything is basic and easy to work on. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, bring back the camera when I've got all the kind of wiring plumbed in, because it's a pretty boring process, if I'm honest. Alright guys, we have an update. Um, that's the idle control valve installed. That shiny kind of chrome thing right there. That was an absolute nightmare to install underneath the intake manifold, but it's on. But I can't seem to find the actual plug for it. I mean, there's this one here, but that actually fits this as well. And um, this is like the fuel tank vent switch or some nonsense, which isn't actually needed, but it still needs to be plugged in just for whatever reason. So. Um, I'm not too sure where it is really. I'll probably try and do that 
try and find out where it goes off camera. But anyway, um, that's just the update. Uh, everything's come along nicely. So, I'll crack on, I'll bring back the camera later on. And also, um, all the kind of fueling lines is all hooked up as well. Just there, and there, and obviously the brake servo pipe as well, that's hooked up down there. Actually, all the boring stuff is kind of done. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to be putting brand new all these in, so, so these are all going to be replaced with stainless steel ones. Yeah, again, so I can't put the uh, turbo on until I replace these, so this is waiting for them coming in the post, so I'll probably install the turbo and obviously the studs in the next video. found this plug and I have absolutely no idea where it goes because everything else is plugged in, such as the this kind of intake temperature sensor, throttle position sensor, everything underneath the engine is plugged in for like the idle control valve and that stupid uh, fuel tank vent switch, like everything here sorted out and um, I've tidied up all the wiring as you can see, literally everything, it, I've done pretty much everything I can do for the time being. Yeah guys, we've made good progress in this video, pretty much everything you've seen in this video has been filmed over the course of like what, two or three weeks because I've just been filming stuff here and there, it hasn't been all in the same day, um, I don't have time to do everything in the same day to be honest, but nonetheless, you guys will see everything in the same video, because I'll obviously edit it all together for you guys. So, I think that about does it for this video. Um, in the next video, on the course of C20 Let, we will be probably installing the camshaft, time belt kit, hybrid turbo, um, get everything else plumbed in and hooked up, and potentially starting it for the very first time. There's just so much to do, guys, to be honest, but I'll keep you guys all updated. Everything will be documented as I do. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.